Hey, I'm Deb Vera. Hope you guys are doing great. Hey, in last week's uh, video, we kind of touched on inspiration. Inspiration and how that stuff is just pure magic, man. I love inspiration so much, don't you? Yeah, inspiration. But, you know, we also kind of talked about how if you do want to live this creative life and keep that creative momentum going, then you can't wait for inspiration to be creative because man there are times when <laughs> yeah you will go for long periods without feeling inspired but here's the thing man if you let that dictate when you're going to be creative you wait if you wait for inspiration you might be sitting it out for quite a while right it's kind of like going to the gym you know i talked about this on uh, my podcast a few weeks back, but I thought since, you know, we talked about it last, uh, last video, you know, I think it's, it's an important topic. And so I kind of wanted to take it a little bit further, show you some images and yeah, talk about inspiration and how to stay creative, whether you feel inspired or not. Now, yeah, creativity, man, it's, <laughs> it's a beautiful thing, but it's one of those things that if you don't keep the momentum going, it is just like going to the gym. You know, we're like, maybe you go to the gym like three, four times a week, two, three times a week. Well, maybe think, you know what, man, I'm going to give myself a break this week and just not go to the gym. Well, then that week maybe turns into two weeks. That's two weeks turns into a month. Now you're feeling the effects, right? You're feeling a little more sluggish and it's going to take you a little bit more effort to kind of get back into it again, right? Same thing with being creative with your photography. Yeah, if you go for like a week without shooting and then that week turns into two weeks and then those two weeks turn into a month, you know, that kind of, now you're kind of in a slump, right? You haven't stayed creative. You haven't kept that momentum going. So it takes a little bit more mm, coaxing to get you to get up and put together a photo shoot or go out and shoot some street stuff or whatever the kind of stuff you like to shoot is. Uh what you need to do is be able to push through those those spells where you don't have that inspiration going. Stay creative. Keep that momentum going so that you stay creative. You know what? Here's one of the uh, benefits to pushing through things like that. Now, I'm not talking about burnout and making yourself go out and be creative, even if you're, like, incredibly burnt out. Yeah, Sometimes, man, you just got to take a break. That's okay. That's all right, because then you can come back to it with fresh eyes and, and feel better. And yeah, maybe it's even a little bit more exciting. But I'm just talking on kind of like your average day-to-day, week-to-week, month-to-month existence as a creative person. It's better to keep the momentum going. There were times when, yeah, especially back a few years ago, I used to do a lot of street photography where I would go out during the day a few times a week. And man, I just love being out there. I love taking shots with my camera. I was doing a lot of shots with my um, Fuji film X100, the original, right? Not the F, not the T, not the S. No, man, the original. I love that camera so much. I've still got my original. It has a lot of sentimental, uh, sentimental value for me. So I'm going to show you some of these shots that I got on photo walks when, yeah, I wasn't feeling it. I didn't feel inspired, and I know I remember these shots so vividly because when I came back and I did see the shoot uh, the shots, I was so glad that I went out, regardless of whether I felt inspired or not. Man, inspiration that was just icing on the cake. But yeah, I was really happy, man, coming back with some of these shots that I got. Now, are they like game changers or these masterpieces? No, but they do mean something to me. Some uh, connections I made with people out there and stuff like that. I will show you some of the shots I got. Okay. Okay, these black and white images you'll see. These are street portraits that I made with, yeah, man, the original Fujifilm X100. Man, I love that camera. You know, I would spend time um, with these people, with each one of them, and just, man, we would be talking about anything. Obviously, this is from the holiday season. And, you know, that's what makes these images mean so much to me, is because of the conversation, that, that interaction, that connection. You know, this, this next shot, this is probably one of my favorites. I would run into this guy periodically 
down in the arts district. And on this occasion, he ran into the garage, this auto garage, brought back his notebook. He wanted to show me all the stickers he'd been collecting. He was very proud of this. Yeah, man, I love this shot. This is a musician that I met walking through uh, Caesar, through uh, Caesars, through the forum shops one day. Cool guy. Now, this isn't necessarily a portrait, but man, this is like one of my favorite just fun shots, man. I look up and there's several Johnny Depp's in front of me. Now for this next batch, yeah, everybody relaxed. <laughs> this is color. I do shoot color every once in a while. But yeah, I was out on one of those days. I didn't really feel like being out, but I took my uh, M262 out, 50 millimeter Summicron. And as the sun went down, the whole town just got more orange. And then it went down more and it got more dark, more orange. Yeah, and I can't deny the color is really what makes these shots. Beautiful stuff. So what do you guys think? Yeah, any award-winning <laughs> National Geographic covers? That would be cool. But no, man, just cool shots. But they mean a lot to me. They mean a lot to me because of the connections I made, the conversations I had, the people that I met. And these guys were cool enough to let me take their photographs, right? Yeah. Now, a couple of them are performers, so that's just kind of part of the deal. But it still means a lot to me, right? We did have a good time. Even if it's just for, you know, these connections that last like a few minutes at a time. That stuff stands out to me. Yeah. And the thing that really stands out and what makes these shots even more important to me is these are photographs that I made on photo walks where I was not inspired. I didn't feel like leaving the house. The weather might not have even been that great. But I went out, man. I was just exercising, right? Because, yeah, creativity, man, it is like a muscle. And you do have to exercise, you know, consistently to be able to get the benefits from your own creativity. And you guys are creative, man. You're photographers. Your photography is your art, right? So that's why it's so important to push through those moments, those times when... Yeah, maybe you'll just play a video game instead. Yeah, no, man, push through that. Go out, get some exercise, take your camera, set up a photo shoot. You know, the color shots that I showed you, you might wonder why those kind of are so important to me. <laughs> man, that was the most orange day I had ever seen. Where the whole, I mean, the orange light just covered everything. It was so beautiful. And I, yeah... I was so glad that I was shooting uh, digital that day because, yeah, I haven't shot color film yet. I'm thinking about it, though. Maybe you guys can recommend, you know, what color film you guys like. Anyway, you guys are creative. You are artists. You are creators, right? And you love your photography. Don't let that go. You know, don't wait for inspiration to, to get out to set up a photo shoot, to do anything creative, even if it's not photography, even if it's, uh, it's just drawing or painting, anything you do that's creative, yeah, just keep that muscle going. And you'll see the benefits that way. You know, if, man, if you're going through burnout, yeah, take a break. <laughs> I don't want to push you over the edge. Take a break and then come back to it with fresh eyes, right? And then maybe it'll even be more exciting. But for the routine stuff, yeah, man, push through that. Don't wait for inspiration. And then when you get it, man, just enjoy it. And I think sometimes you find that even just leaving the house and going out with your camera, even if you're not inspired when you leave the house, once you start taking some shots, sometimes that, that inspiration kind of automatically seeps into things. So very cool stuff, man. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed the shots. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll answer anything I can. I'm Ted Vieira. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks.